What's up guys, RealTouchGML here, back with another Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial, and today what we're going to be doing is looking at creating portals in your game. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick example of what we're going to be doing. Basically here I have a simple platformer, and you have these little pads here. So you can step on the pads and they'll go down, and if you hit the up arrow key, then you will teleport to these little pads up here. And this system works with as many portals as you want in a single level and you can link them together and uh, this is just a quick effect I put in there with the with the fading particle system and I'll have all of that stuff in the description for you to use but you can definitely just use whatever you like the system covers it so let's go ahead and begin alright so let's go ahead and take a look at how the system actually works so here we have our player and this is the step event so it's just very basic platformer code collision with our block very basic platforming code here we have our pad object and that sprite right here is just one is up and one is down as well as our destination pad uh, which I've also put the origin to top center so that when we teleport we can get right into the middle of that pad alright so we have those two objects uh, the pad here I just set image index equal zero and image speed equal zero the destination pad has no code and it won't have any code it's uh, purely visual and just so we, that we can get the um, it's gonna have one variable and it's gonna be the index variable and I'll tell you what that's that's used to link the destination pad and the actual teleporting pad together uh, but we're not actually building that in this uh, in this object here we're gonna build that in the creation code and then we have an effect object and this is just basically what travels from point A to point B that cool little particle system that you saw that you can probably make so much better than I did uh, when it goes across so it's just that cool little effect so in room 0 here's how we're gonna be able to link the pads together so in Game Maker Studio 2 if I double click on this and I go to the creation code I set index to equal 1 now notice that in the object pad here it doesn't even have an index variable that's okay this is gonna be set before it even gets created That's the first thing that happens so it's basically like another create event and as you'll see on this object here when we go to creation code this index equals 2 so now those are basically the IDs for the pads so now this destination pad right here if we double click on it in creation code that index equals 1 which means that that's now linked up with this guy right here okay and this one equals two so that one's linked up over here awesome so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the object pad and in the step event I'm just gonna put some visual code here so that we can see that our player is stepping on the pad so I'm going to say if place meeting x comma y minus one o player then we can set our image index equal one else image index equals zero so this is again purely visual this has nothing to do with the actual teleporting process so now I'm gonna go ahead and create all of the code for our effect so basically once we start up the teleporting process this effect object is going to get created so what we want to do is in the create event we want to have two variables well not two variables we want to have our tele part script be called which is essentially just that cool effect that I showed you this code right here will be in the description so you can copy it over to your script all right and then we're going to want to have a target and so our target right off the bat equals no one so now we can what we can do later on is utilize this target so we can say target.x and target.y and that's the position we'll be going towards so let's do that now in the step event first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the particles so part particles create as name x y particle one and the number one now I'm just going to simply move our uh, X and Y coordinates towards our destination platform so we're going to use a tweening algorithm X plus equals 
target.x minus x multiplied by 0. Point, uh, we'll say 2. y plus equals, and here I'm going to say target dot y minus 32 minus y multiplied by 0 0.2 just because we want it to be just a little bit above okay and so now we can just basically see okay if our distance is close enough to that platform we can destroy it so if distance to point and this is going to be target dot x and uh, target dot y minus 32 is less than we'll say 10 pixels then we can simply instance destroy. And we can set our o player dot x to equal target dot x, and o player dot y to equal target dot y minus thirty two. So there we go. So the hardest part about this system is figuring out which target is which. Like like what is this actual target object that we're using? So this code right here it just brings it to the location. Um, and then once we're at that location, it destroys itself and it moves its player coordinates uh, accordingly. So how do we figure out what the target is? So let's go ahead and go into our player. And in the step event, we're going to add some code. So this is all going to be the portal system. All right. Cool. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a temporary variable called pad. Okay, so this is going to be the pad that we're uh, colliding with that we're going to start uh, teleporting. And so basically what we need to do is figure out, okay, what's the index variable for the pad that we're on? And what's the index variable for the destination pad that we need to go through? So in other words, we're going to need to loop through all of the destination objects and see if they actually, uh, their index lines up with the pad that we're currently on. So we're creating the variable pad, okay? And we need to create the variable dest for destination, okay? So I'm gonna say pad equals instance underscore place x comma y, um, and this is gonna be opad. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna return the instance of our opad for all of them. So now what we can say is if place meeting, x comma y plus one with our pad. Now we can start uh, creating the code. And so in other words, what this is saying is, and actually let's get rid of plus one. I don't think we need it. What this is saying is, okay, are you on a pad? If so, we know that we're on this pad and we can, since this returns the pad object, we can actually get the information we need from it. That's why we use the instance place rather than just saying place meeting O pad because then we couldn't get the ID and we couldn't uh, figure out what the index is. So if we are on top of it, then we're going to say if keyboard check pressed VK up. Okay, so this is going to be the action key to actually start our teleporting process. Then what we want to do is we want to create a for loop. So for I equals zero. I is less than instance number o dest i plus plus. And here what we're doing is we're now looping through all of our destination objects because we want to find the one that holds the same index. Okay, so we're gonna say dest equals instance find. This is gonna be o dest and i. Alright, so now we can clearly just check if they line up. So if pad.index equals our destination.index, then we can say effect equals instance create depth x comma y negative one o effect. And we can say effect dot target equals our destination. And then we can just break. We want to break out of that loop at that point. There's no reason to keep going. Okay, and that's it. So let's go ahead and run the game. And there is one other thing I want to do. So we go over here and we hit up. And as you can see, boom. And we go over here and then it creates it. So now check out this one little thing. If I hit the up key, let's do it over here. 
you could see that the player, even though it's like transporting towards that pad, the player's still there, uh, which I don't like. O player dot visible. Actually, we we are on the player, so that never mind. We'll say visible equals false. Okay, and uh, just so we can't actually uh, run around and do anything at the very top of the code, what you can say is if not visible, then return zero. So actually, we should probably put this towards the bottom here, since that'll be the last thing. And so, in other words, what's what's happening here is that okay, now once we found the destination, visible equals false. It creates the effect, and then at the end of the effect, we want to set O player dot visible to equal true again. Okay. So let's run the game. Now you can see, so it looks smoother. Still got some of the particle system actually there, but it fades out. All right, so that's going to be it. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Visit CodyMadeSimple.com uh, and check out some new course material that's on there for learning how to use GameMaker Studio 2 more efficiently. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.